in previous downturns, bonds and uh, tips, treasury inf inflation protected securities have been used as parachutes, but this year bonds have performed terribly just year to date. You know, why is that? And should I have a different parachute for this downturn? Yeah, if we look back, you know, at the, at the, at, these are kind of these rolling downturns. So 2000, 2008, and now 2022. Okay, those are the big ones uh, that we're looking at where they're, you know, we had 2018, it dropped kind of a V and, a, you know, came right back. 2020 dropped. Those are a little bit different. So in these rolling downturns in 2000, bonds went up. Uh, they did really well. Great parachute uh, as far as that goes. 2008, they actually originally fell because the problem was covering these insurance policies sitting on top of these mortgage bonds. People were selling everything to do that. But once rates started to decrease in that environment, bonds came back up and became an okay parachute in 2008. This one's different. Because of the raising of interest rates at such an aggressive you know, uh, pace, you end up with a situation where the bond market is going to fall in that environment because that's how it works. Bonds readjust their, their rate of payment by falling in value. Uh, so if a bond used to pay two and now it should be paying four, the value will fall, so now it's paying four. Right? I mean, that's kind of how it works in the simple terms. Uh, and obviously, it's a very difficult environment for stocks uh, just because, again, first of all, bonds are now paying more, so you can take less risk and buy a bond. Uh, and so that takes money away. And then secondly, it makes it more difficult in this higher inflationary environment for companies to have consistent earnings uh, because you're pressing on all of their expenses on the upside and maybe they can only raise their prices so much before they start having a compression of their earnings, right? So um, that's what's happening here. I do have something to show you uh, for this question. It's kind of interesting. And you can see you know, where some of the potential parachutes are. Now, a parachute is designed to slow your descent. Mm -hmm. Right. So anything that makes you know, uh, more money or loses less money than the stock market is a parachute. Yep. Right. So even though the bond market's terrible uh, and it really is, it's historic, uh, it, it's still better than the stock market in general. So this is the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index ETF. It's essentially the entire U.S. market. Uh, I believe it's about 98 percent of the stocks that are out there. It's over 4000 stocks. It was down, uh, it looks like 16.1% so far this year. Yep. Okay, got down lower than that at that bottom point in June, but that's where it is now. Uh, and so let's look at some of the other things that would be traditional parachutes and how did they do. So the first thing you look at here is the Vanguard Total Bond Market Index. All right, that chart looks pretty bad. Yep. <laughs> but uh, it's down 12, 11.5%. Okay, so. Not good. I mean, it didn't go up like it did in 2000. It didn't eventually go up like it did in 2008. Uh, and it is down quite a bit. And so that's kind of a problem. But still, it's a parachute. If you had 100% VTI versus, say, half and half, you're better off with half of this. This is BND, right? Mm -hmm. The ticker symbol, Vanguard Total Bond Market uh, Index ETF. Uh, and <clears throat> But it's not a great parachute, but it's still somewhat of a parachute just falling less. So then there's some other, you know, traditional standpoints. This is gold. So gold's kind of designed theoretically on an investment standpoint. We've all heard this over and over again. This is the environment. We got high inflation, we got the situation, and you can see it ran up actually. It, this is all year to date. It had a big run up, but it's now down 7%. Yep. Better parachute than bonds. Uh, but the volatility is a lot higher, right? I mean, it was up a lot more and, you know, it come down. And so, uh, but gold is a, a, an okay parachute in this environment. We don't use it because for the long term, it's just such a volatile asset. Uh, and we try to stay away from some of those in the construction of our portfolios. Uh, you know, we're trying to find some more consistency, but gold would be a parachute that, that did okay. Um, and then this is the short term, uh, in, Treasury Inflation Protection Security. So what happens here is, first of all, short term just means, in this case, uh, zero to five years. Uh, this is the iShares zero to five years uh, tip uh, bond ETF. STIP is the ticker symbol. Um, you can see it's all over the place. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like an EKG machine. Uh, but it's only down 1.8%. Yeah, but if you actually looked at this as just a price thing, um, it would be down 6%. So the yield has come up kind of to just... For yeah. that. And so we're looking at the total return. 
So if you're just looking at this as a purely as a, you know, a hold and your price has gone down, you've lost 6% on it. Yeah, but, but that's, the, it, that's the thing that these are supposed to do. A little bit like gold. They're meant for this time frame because they do adjust their yield as they go as interest as inflation comes up. And so that has helped, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's down less when you t- look at both the dividend and the price, um, and you know, or the or the uh, you know, interest and the price, but um, still not as expected. That should probably be above zero, you know, or at least at zero or something, you know, some type of scenario. Again, this has been just a, such a brutal rate increase so fast uh, that it's created, you know, more problems for that. But again, still a parachute. We have a. This is, I think, our top three or top five holding is in this, uh, mm-hmm. you know, so it's nothing to be super proud about, but it's better than some of the other things that are out there. And we did that, you know, back in, you know, November, October of last year, just because we're expecting inflation to come into play. Uh, there's some other things to take a look at. Now, this is one of our key holdings now that we've been placing some of the stock market money in. Uh, this is the Spider, which is State Street's uh, version of the uh, Bloomberg one to three month uh, T-bill ETF. Uh, ticker symbol there is BIL. And so rate of return has been a grand total of 0.42% so far this year. Uh, but compared to negative 16 and negative 12, uh, you know, that's not terrible. And actually, you can see the progress there. It's it recently been paying more and more because the three-month T-bill now is, you know, starting to get up to nearly 3%. Uh, so, uh, you know, that's that's a nice yield as far as that goes. So that's another parachute spot. Uh, we did not use this at the beginning of the year. We're using it now more as just a holding spot to wait and see what's going to happen with the market. But it's not a terrible holding spot uh, as far as that goes. It would be a decent parachute, though, if the market did fall a bunch more, right? So it's good to have that because uh, it's hard. You can't move that money into the overall bond market because that seems to be falling, too, at the same time. So uh, not a bad place. Another place is just money markets. This is the Vanguard federal uh, money market. Uh, the ticker symbol is VMFXX, uh, and so this is up a grand total of a half a percent. Uh, same thing, though. This one actually for the risk. I mean, it has theoretically a $1 share price that hasn't changed in this whole time frame. Mm-hmm. So there's been no risk so far. That can change. You've got to be careful with money markets a little bit. But uh, generally speaking, they'll stay at that $1. And so then we're starting to see a higher and higher yield. I believe the yield on this is above 2.4% right now, if you look at what it's paid over the last seven days. So, you know, that's reflective of that curve. This is not a bad parachute just because of the low risk, yep. right? So a place to hold money and kind of wait for things to get better as far as that goes. Uh, and then there's, you know, uh, utilities, which generally will do well in this environment. This is the Vanguard uh, Utility ETF, VPU is the ticker symbol. Uh, that is actually up 8.3%. Um, utilities are tend to be a safe haven uh, because they provide something that everybody needs, uh, and they pay big dividends, which have been really popular right now in this higher inflationary environment. But you can see, you know, it's not a risk-free scenario, uh, not, nothing like the money market that we just talked about. But that's a hedge. Uh, again, we haven't used that just because, uh, you know, the risk versus reward here uh, and certainly a problem when the market turns around, these will start to underperform. So, um, and then the last one has been a hedge this year, especially. This is the Vanguard Energy ETF, VDE, is the ticker symbol. It's up 45.6% so far this year. Uh, however, if you look at it in the last, you know, I think since the middle of June, uh, has actually underperformed the market a fair amount. Uh, so this is quite volatile. Uh, I have no trouble with people that want to put something like this in their portfolio, uh, but we tend to stay away from it for the most part just because of the volatility of it as far as that goes. So those are some of the parachutes that are out there. I think it's more important, though, to look at you know what parachute you would use you know now going forward. Uh, and so again, we're using you know money markets, uh, T bills, ultra short term bonds, mm-hmm. uh, kind of you know things that are uh, more you know along the lines of this uh, <clears throat> right now, just because you know again if the market takes off that. You know, utility is going to fall. Energy has been falling because the fear of recession. So, uh, you know, there's some there's some really interesting things going on right now in those arenas. So this is not a bad place to be at this point for a parachute. And that's what we're using. We're packing the parachute with T-bills and ultra short-term bonds and things like that. So 
Uh, but it's a really good question. 